Tonight's entree is Badlands, another official map, and the final of the maps the WoW Factor brought up. Uh, this might might actually be my favorite uh, official map in the game, and official a uh, favorite map in general, just to be completely honest. Uh, this is the map that best encompasses everything good about this game, in my opinion. Um, doesn't get old. So it's a capture the flag map. This is your starting point, and this actually, somewhat uniquely among the official maps, and just, I, I feel like maps in general in this game, your capture point is in the respawn area, so, or resupply, so after a certain point, uh, the enemy team actually can't grab that flag once it's in there. Kind of a moot point, because, you know, it's already, like, you know, pretty much in the, like, it's right there. It's very unlikely you're gonna break free. Anyway, so, it's a very big map, so this is the first part. Uh, this is the sniper. Is there a ghost capture in the flag? What's going on? Anyway, um, so yeah, this is a sniper area, and just to go on a tangent, the one thing I really like about this map is that every single class feels like it has real, genuine purpose. Some maps definitely benefit other classes more than others. This one does not. This one, every class feels important. And there is a lot of little areas here. So this is a flag area, which is right near the respawn. I sometimes criticize maps for doing that, but I feel this one, there's enough potential cover that, you know, and like, one thing I should mention is there's actually two ways to get to this flag. Um, this is probably the easiest area to defend, as you can see, because the resupply is right there. You got restock. Good places to hide as a demo man or like a heavy weapons guy or build stuff as a engineer. This is kind of like a little outer area here, which leads into another resupply. And the capture thing. From here, you got an exit. One of the exits. Which I'll show off where these lead to in a second. You got another exit. So to go back here. Um, as you can see here, if you drop down here. Uh, you could s There's this little pipe area that goes right under the flag, actually. And it if it looks like you had to duck, you don't. As you saw there, you could fit perfectly. And it leads into another way to get outside or inside. By the way, I like how there is a sign that, yeah, this is a, this must be an entrance, a, like, you know, the people who built these facilities intend for you to use, because, you know, why would you put that sign there? Anyway, getting ahead of myself. And something unique I don't think anyone points out, you can actually sit up here, so, like, the strategies, as you can see in this map, are insane. So if you want to sit up there as, like, a soldier, or, like, you know, even a sniper, and just wait for people to try to come through there, you absolutely can. So to look at the flag room... As you can see there, you can come through here, which is the harder of the ways to go, but the one the enemy team's probably expecting you to take more. Or, if you're able to get up here, like, not every class can get up here, mind you, but if you can, like, you know, comp jump, rocket jump, it, very easily you can go through there instead and come right back out. So you have to be watching both entrances. Now, here is the base itself. There is that sniper area from earlier. And there is multiple ways to go from here. I'll show you the main one first. And this is why I mentioned all classes are useful, because the sniper is useful at almost every, like, open area in this map. Engineers have ample room to build, like, sentries and teleporters. I'll show the main battlements in a second. That's the main way they expect you to go. Um, you know, obviously your main attack classes are useful. There's plenty of room to run for, like, the medics and scouts. It just, everyone is, no one feels left out here. So here's another way you can go, and by the way, you can get up by taking this way. So yeah, there's like a little roundabout if you want to try to sneak in from the side as the opposing team. You could also go in here. And here's the valley. By the way, as you see, there's still more to the base. I will show off in a second what I mean. And this is where the split kind of is. Though you could climb these ropes here. I wish they just made them ladders because when I used to play this when I was younger, I was stupid and didn't notice it. So there's actually... You can actually get into the bases from here too. Or you could just drop down. There's the bridge from earlier, which I'm going to be flashy, and I'm going to show you by doing this. So yeah, if you were to come from this way, here's the main bridge. I don't recommend trying to go this way, because you're probably going to die. I suggest, if you have to, dropping off here. If you were to go back this way, you see this here. Now, the thing is, is that um, you have to crouch into here, though. So yeah, don't... First time playing... Uh, watch out, because someone's gonna probably hit you, because you're trying to too busy to, uh, you're too busy trying to just walk through it. But as you see, this actually is yet another way to go into the base. 
But watch out, there is a resupply. This leads back to that sniper area I brought up earlier. And if you do that, it can lead you right into the base. So there is a lot of different ways to get in here. A significant amount of planning can go into this map if you want to, like, reduce... Like, team coordination, if you want to reduce the chances of getting your flag taken, you have to, like, plan for every contingency. And yeah, that's the same, obviously, for the other base. Like what I said, one of my favorites, if not my favorite. There's just so much to see and do, and every class has, like, a time to shine here. I love it. There we go, let the mayhem begin. I should mention that uh, Badlands in Team Fortress 2 is also one of my favorite maps in that game. Though this has almost nothing to do with that. They change it quite radically for the uh, sequel. Mostly because these games don't really play all that much. I say that in Team 4 2-4 was left quite like similar, so I don't know. Basically, if you're used to uh, Badlands in that game, don't expect anything similar in this game. Though there, there are some bag simulators, you know what to look Yeah! And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's great. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh okay. I'm just gonna... Even if I had to just take it by the hand, I don't want to risk any more damage if I can. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. We know where that is. Yeah! Go, whoever that is. Enemy flag. I think in any of these uh, map videos that the bots have captured a flag, so good for them. Although I, I, don't want to put the significant effort in, if I do say so myself. Oh wow. This is why you need good defense, because look how easy, despite how big this map is, to break in. Like, I did it within seconds. Uh, a lot of like the maps that I've showed off take forever to try to break through, so yeah. Which is part of why I like this map, because, you know, it's actually, you know, it's both very accessible for first-time players, because there's a lot of, like, breathing space, and, you know, you're not gonna die right away, you have time to figure things out, but it's also very punishing, too, because if you don't, like, if you, uh, like, you know, don't know, like, how to take advantage of your multiple ropes, you're gonna die really quick in the base there. It's just really well done. As you'd hope an official map, if I gotta be completely honest. Also, first time I take a teleporter at all in uh, any of these games. And that's something I forgot to mention earlier. It is very easy as an engineer to uh, get a teleporter built on the like enemy's um, little like area here. You got to be really careful. That's what I meant when I said it could be punishing. That stuff right there. There is no messing around here.
I've had uh, enemy uh, engineers build sentries in there too. There's just no like no end, especially alongside this um like bridge area here. There's so much opportunity to just get screwed over if you're not careful. Oh balls! That didn't work out like I thought it would. Well, we have a chance. Did you forget that I existed? No! My whole life depends on it. No, I don't care. I don't care what you have to sell me. Your products are all lousy. All like third rate ripoffs. I don't know. Excuse me! I'm in need of medical attention! Medic! I hope you appreciate how wizard that fucking jump was.
know how the false sound for like the half life in this game were created. That like sound, like you know what I'm talking about. It sounds like a really distorted scream almost. Or I don't know, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. that the, the possibility is not a decimal point thing, yeah. Alright, I don't know what the hell kind of like force of nature sent me flying there. Ah, fall! I guess the one downside is that the time it takes you to get across the map, it's very hard to make up for like a failed flag capture attempt. Because like, you know, the chances of you getting back over there are very slim. Which is both a good and a bad thing, I'm not saying it's necessarily. It makes it so like, again, slightly more forgiving as a defender, but slightly more punishing as an attacker. The duality returns. Well, I completely screwed that. Yeah, there you go. Badlands. That's still one of the best. I could play this for hours, honest to god. I swear. 